Trevor, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What are you doing down there? Checking the ceiling. Looks good, doesn't it? I did it all myself. Well, Simon helped with that corner bit, but I did all the other sides and right across the middle. Simon, come and have a look at this. I've seen it, man. Now, will you get off your ass? Must be a complicated message. It's from Daniel. World's best dad. He even put some kisses with crayon. I've seen it. Hello? Yes, he's here. It's Laura. For you. Hello, Laura. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you soon. She wants me to look at a job she's got on in the Housing Association. You? It's just decorating work mainly. She knows how busy you are here. Does she also know I'm in charge? If she wants to borrow you for another job, she rings me. Yeah, well, maybe she doesn't want to speak to you. Hey? Oh, come on, Joe. Every time you look at her, you bite her head off. He's right, son. Yeah, I've been a bit short-tempered these past few days. Is it any wonder? Working with him? What are you up to, Paul? Uh, nothing. That's what I thought. How does Spain sound? In what context? In the context of getting you out of this office, over to Cadiz, and ready to auction two tankers on behalf of MyCash Shipping. Well, sounds great. What's the catch? There isn't one. You leave next week, you stay for two months in a company apartment. Two months. Uh, I may have to consult my wife on this one, Clive. Of course. Tell her all about your poor performance at work. Explain you've been given the last chance to claw your way out of trouble and remind her that no one's indispensable. I'm sure she'd be reasonable. How's it look? Well, I'm not gonna give you any BS. That's bullshit. I think we're looking at two or three days flat out with a couple of lads on the job. I mean, that's a load-bearing wall. I just want it painted. I know, I'm just saying, it's load-bearing. Trevor, can I show you the bathroom? Uh-huh. Oh, there's no plumbing, is there? You know what happened last time. Just sit down. Now, Debbie needs a place to stay, and she needs it now. She's stuck in a squat, living next door to drug dealers and prostitutes. But the worst thing is, her ex-boyfriend knows where she lives. He comes round to beat her up. Joking. I want her to move in here as soon as possible. But I can't find anyone to finish off the work. Well, you know how busy we are at your place. Our place isn't as important. It doesn't matter to you where you work. But to Debbie, it's going to make all the difference in the world. Hi, oh, sorry, I'm looking for Laura Atkins. In the bog. Paul. Oh, hi. 
Uh, uh, you met Derby? Yeah, do you fancy some lunch? Yeah, could do. What do you say? He says he'll do it. It's brilliant. Cheers. Do what? I'll, um, I'll tell you over lunch. Should we go? Yeah. Is that a husband? Yeah. Nice suit. Got a bit of money, is he? Yeah. It's gonna be all right here, don't you think? Yeah. You don't say much, do you? Off for the wood, are we? We are. I expect you've got some chores to do for Laura, have you? <laughs> You'd only be away for a day or so. Anyway, Joe might say no. What about me? What if I say no? Anyway, I think we're supposed to talk about everything before we did it. It only just occurred to me this morning. Trevor's a good worker. He could paint that flat in a day. Looks like it needs more than a lick of paint to me. Is that where she'll be living? Her name is Debbie. What's her problem? Sorry? She must have a problem. You wouldn't be holding her hand if she didn't. Debbie's a recovering alcoholic with a violent ex-boyfriend. Ooh. Shame she's not black and disabled. Your monthly quota rolled into one. I don't have quotas. I have clients who are people in need. Real people, as opposed to the shallow, bronzed, coke-snorting money launderers you deal with. Well, whatever. I don't know how it works, do I? No, you don't, because you never asked me about it. That is not true. Oh, the occasional how was your day, darling, but you're not interested in what I do. It doesn't count as a proper job, as far as you're concerned. I pay you peanuts. I care about my clients because they're worth looking after. If you don't understand that, then you're the one with the problem. Do you not want anything for your private job? Give it a rest, man. Aye, aye. Just leave it, will you? If the police get called, we're all in trouble. We're going. None of us want to fight. Of course you don't. You're shitting yourself. No. I have total control over my bowel movements. I've done ever since I was a baby. Now we're going to walk out of here, and you're not going to stop us. OK? I'm just going for a slash. I want me a second. Hello. You still angry? Angry? No. Hungry? Yes. There's no soap in your downstairs bottle, Laura. Got your washing up liquid. You remember Debbie? Hi. Hi. Joining us for dinner? Mm-hmm. And breakfast. Debbie's flat won't be ready for a while. Yeah, I'm really gutted. I was already planning when to have my first party. I don't understand. Well, he didn't want me to use Trevor, so I've booked a decorator who's busy till the end of next week. Oh, no, hang on a minute. So, Debbie's going to stay with us till her flat's finished. Great. I'm going to get changed and I'm going to buy some beer. Debbie doesn't drink. Beer's for me. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> hey. Hey 
<laughs> Lenny? The bench! Watch out, Lenny! Hey! Lenny? Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Lenny, it's okay. I'm here now. Oh. Can you wiggle your toes? Why would I want to? I don't know. Come on, let's get you looked at. Ah! Okay, okay. I can't help you. No. No, this is not right. I'm gonna have to sit down. Can't you make it home? Sorry, you're gonna have to call for an ambulance or a taxi. Okay, okay. Look, I'll take Fraser home and then I'll ring from there. Will you be okay without me? I'll be fine. All right, Paul. Hey, fancy a kick around? I wear a sun on my head. Well, that's my boss, so I'm captain. All right, Bugsy, the other one, then. Hang on, I'm always captain. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate, I'll have you. Right, I'll be on with All right. Yeah, come on. Yep, sorted. Come back, Chelsea. Yo, are we? Yeah, come on. Are we then? Thanks, yeah. We've sorted. Right, right that's just leaves them two hot spots or whatever. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Ja, wie echt. Jep, 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 jep. Das ist auch ja vergessen, Mann. Bloody hell. Was ist Frank? Was ist der Franz? Was ist Jo? 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 Then I don't really listen out for the sounds of vans being driven away. Oh, where's he got to? Where's our dad? Well, his gear's still there, so he can't have gone with Joe. Yeah, but what about the other van? I mean, even Joe can't drive two vans at once. I hate to be the one to raise some practical questions, but how's all this going to affect the house? Well, they've lost Joe and Lenny. Exactly. So how's this going to affect the progress of the kitchen? Paul, I can't tell you anything until I've spoken to Joe. Can I use your phone? He's not available to take my call. He'd like me to leave a message after the beep. Come on, then. Joe, it's Trevor here. Uh, just wondering where you'd got to, and where Dad's got to, and where the hire van is. Could you let us know, please? Uh, Lenny's in hospital. What? It's nothing serious. He's hurt his leg, rollerblading. <laughs> He's sad. <laughs> Emma's with him at the moment, but she needs to get back. So can someone go and get Lenny? How are you, I'm not going. Why should I help Lenny? He'll probably be in a lot of pain. You know, crying and screaming. Hang on a minute. Where are you going? What's this way? No, we're supposed to follow the yellow line. Where is it? I'll ask him there. Excuse me, sister. We don't know, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Our only Joe that's gone missing. Oh, the hire van. It's been nicked. Well, it's not just the van. Why, well, you unloaded the timber, didn't you? I was going to after the footy. Oh, you're stupid. No, it's not as bad as it seems. I think I know I might have got it. Who? Oh. Remember those plumbers? Not the ones. Yeah, we remember the plumbers. I played a bit of a prank on them at the builders' merchants. What sort of a prank? Just let the tires down. Come here, Joe, is that you? I've been trying to get you all morning, man. Where are you? Where? What happened? Rollerblading? A few stitches, no broken bones. I'm all right. What about you? I'm all right. Oh, good. Because I thought when you packed and left without a word to anyone, there might be something wrong, you know. Is Trevor worried? You over. Thought would be glad to see the bag of us, you know. That's a stupid thing to say, sir. Are we? You're gonna tell me what's wrong? Can we look at the penguins first? Mm. 
Is this it, then? Aye. It's no sign of our van, though. So what do we do? Take their van, of course. Eh? You can't leave him, Joe. No matter how bad things are between you and Trevor, he's still your brother. You can't run away from him. He's not like your wife and daughter, you know. Bought this for Josie this morning. Hmm. Looks expensive. Nah, money no object to me. But you put photos in it. She can use it to remind her what her dad looks like. When are you gonna give it to her? Not sure I am. What's the point? The point is, she'll love it. You think so? You plan on staying here? Last night I was planning on going to France. <laughs> Eh, yeah, man, that's funny. That's where I'm going. To dear. Why France? That's where Christine is. Thought she was in Africa. She's picking grapes for a month at a place that I can't pronounce. <laughs> but I'll find her. What's brought this on? I don't know. I saw a nurse last night. Reminded me of Christine. And then was. That has made me think a lot about what I've been missing. What, like? Sex? No, not sex, Jewel. Love. Your mum stuck it out for years, didn't you? Stuck it out? <laughs> we were happy together, son. Why can't I do anything like that? You can. Starting with Trevor. It's hardly the same thing, Dad. Isn't it? It's all about commitment, you know. Oh, I think it's a bit late for me and Trev. Really pissed him off this time. Why don't you go back and see you're sorry? Then, see what turns out. I will. Good boy. There's half a dozen toilets here, a couple of B-days, a bath. They're gonna miss this lot, you know. Hey, there's that Debbie. Hiya, Debbie. Can we give you a lift? Yeah, cheers. All right. All right. What have you been up to, then? Nothing. Is this your van? It is now. I wish I had a motor. I've been looking for posters for the flat. I had to walk all the way back from the high street. Why didn't you get the bus? Can't afford it. Well, I could lend you some money if you like. Would you? Hey, anyone fancy a bevy? Yeah, sounds good. But I thought... What? what? With... Uh, I had nothing. Let's go, then. Do you want some food? They do a nice pasty here. No, thanks. I mean, I'd pay, obviously, for both of us. Yeah, Laura's cooking. Look, well, it's probably none of my business, but I thought you didn't drink. Who told you that? 
Or was it Laura? Said I was an alky. I'll let you into a little secret. I made that up. Why? Well, you have to have a story, don't you? Otherwise, you don't get one of them flats. So, the stuff about your boyfriend beating you up? Yeah, that's bollocks and all. You've got nothing to worry about. Ah, good. <laughs> right, that's Joe. Joe! Where'd you get to, man? The zoo. Long story. Look, about the football, I'm sorry, I was, you know. No. No, I was. I know. <laughs> Say no more about it then. Okay. Fancy pint? Yeah. Listen, Trev, I better get back. See you later. Yeah, maybe. No, not maybe. I'll see you later, yeah? Help. It's frozen lasagna again. Sorry. Oh, that's lovely. I'll probably be eating paella this time next week. Only if we've got through the frozen lasagna. No, no, I've been asked to go to Spain. For a couple of months. It's not my choice. No? Well, what do you think? I think you should have mentioned this before. Bass has only just told me. Really? It's not like I want to go. Why not? Well, I would. Puts me in a very tricky position. Oh, poor you. It must be bloody hard having to decide between lying on a lilo covered in sawdust or on a sunbed covered in factor eight. Have I missed the food? Do you mind? We're in the middle of a conversation. It's a row. And it's over. You go to Spain. I'm going to bed. Sorry, I didn't know... Get out. I haven't had my tea yet. You're not eating here. You're not sleeping here. Get out. I'm going to tell Laura. You can do what you like. There's no way you're sleeping in my house again. Just get out! She definitely wants me. Sexually. Oh, sexually. I haven't done it with anyone since Karen. Didn't do it with anyone before Karen. So basically, if it wasn't for Karen, you'd be a virgin. Yeah, I did loads with Karen. All night and that, sometimes. <laughs> and you're worried that doing it with Debbie might be, what, different? I don't know. Is that all you're worried about? It really just the sex. I think I like Debbie. I know she likes me. She's beautiful. I don't want to start something that I can't finish. It wouldn't be fair. Ah, if it don't work out, don't work out. Why worry? She's had a hard life. Not as hard as I thought, like, but still... I'd rather not go out with her at all than, you know, see her a couple of times and then dump her. She might dump you. Written. But then I'd be back where I started. And that's the risk you're going to have to take. If you actually want a new girlfriend. Do you? I don't know. Too soon to say. Trev, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to face facts. You're out there again. Where? Yeah. That's where the girls are. That's where your next partner is. Do you want to find her? Not yet. Okay. No one's forcing you, Trevor. 
How are you, man? Uh, Bea, what's the matter? Bo won't let me stay in the house. I want nowhere to go. What can I do? You can always sleep here. Oh, can I, Trev? Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, go on. Why not? Long, I could feel her, you know, creeping nearer and nearer. At one point, she even, you know, touched me. No. I hope you told her you're not that kind of a boy. Well, George Simon were there. I can't do it with a crowd. <sighs> I'm just grateful Debbie had somewhere to stay. When Paul told me what he said. We heard you shouting. Well, I'm sorry, he was a total bastard last night. Debbie's got enough problems without my husband kicking her out on the street. She was pretty upset, all right. Took half a bottle of scotch to put the smile back on her face. Debbie was drinking scotch? Not Simon and me. Is she or is she not a recovering alcoholic? Does she have a violent ex-boyfriend? then he doesn't want to see you and I don't want to see you you what pack your bags please and then get out you're right I will not be lied to not by you not by anyone what's Trevor been saying the truth I need that flat. You don't qualify anymore. I'm taking your name off the list. No, please. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I've got nowhere to go. I have got nothing. You've got everything. Do you want some money? Yes. Is it true about Lenny? Gone, yeah. Who is this, Christine? Someone else you was shagging? We didn't. Didn't he leave a note or a message or anything? Yeah. He said, I hope you go out with Simon again. He's a good lad and he deserves to be treated better than he has been. Those were his last words. Debbie out. Not on my account, I hope. 
It turns out she wasn't an alcoholic. And she's never been battered by anyone. How very disappointing. It's not funny, Paul. She tried to deceive me. She couldn't manage it. What's that supposed to mean? Well, oh, come on, Laura. You must admit you're a bit... You're too trusting. If you want to call me gullible, go right ahead. I'm not looking for a fight here. A few hours ago, Debbie was this week's good cause. Now she's public enemy number one. It's a bit odd, isn't it? No, you're saying I'm odd? No, I'm not. I just wish you wouldn't go from one extreme to the other all the time. Laura, I'm not having a go at you here. Laura! Laura! We're going without. Oh, then. All right, Laura. Oh, yeah, everything's just perfect. Thank you. It looks like it. I'm fine, really. Where are you off to? Whose van's that? <laughs> you up to something? OK, what's the plan? Come on, come on, fill me in. Stop bouncing and I'll tell you the plan. Are you tooled up? No. Not here to fight. I would, though. <laughs> We've rung the plumbers, they're going to bring our van with all the frames and the timbers, then we sort for this van with all the bogs and the patients. Beat is. What is that it? No violence? No broken bones and cracked skulls? Carry on bouncing, Laura, there will be. Sorry. You know, she makes her she's some kind of saint. She doesn't really care about people like me. You did tell her a couple of fibs. Well, I had to, I was desperate. You can see that, can't you? Yeah. And then why can't she? Because she's a stuck-up cow. You wouldn't throw me out in the streets, would you? Hmm? We've got something going, haven't we? I don't... Well, finish your bloody sentence. It's not you. <laughs> it, it's, it's not even me. It's Karen, my wife. We've just split, and I'm still really shaken up about it. You see, when I was with her, I could talk to women, and I'd be OK. Well, knowing that I was going home to her, I could speak to anyone and I'd be fine. Well, now... I'm just petrified all the time that I'm going to come across like a prat. I'm sorry, Debbie, it's... I don't think I'm ready to be out there just yet. I'll do the talking. Simon, you check the wood. Make sure they haven't damaged the van. We have to pay for dents or scratches. What about me? Am I supposed to just sit here looking pretty? You can be me right hand man if you like. What would that entail? Stand next to me on my right. Look manly. Hello, I'm Laura Atkins. 
Eric Meadows. That's my timber you've got on that van, so I hope it's okay. Yeah, it's sound. What about our gear? Nothing's been touched, you have my word. Take a look. Come on, Simon. I think it's going quite well. I suppose let me do the talking. Well, I thought a feminine touch might help defuse the situation. You're lucky they didn't deck you. I can take care of myself. Sure. Sorted, Eric. You got the keys? Well, well. I am glad we got all this sorted, you know. See, well, there's a lesson here. One thing I did forget to mention What's is he that doing? small dick is still a toss. Quick as you like, Jock. What have you said? You get out. What? Nothing. Just something about his nose. Get out! And other body parts. See ya! See ya! Oh, what's the matter, man? What a fuck is going for a pint? Still following. I can't see them. I still love these days. Oh no. Oh yes. Simon, we unload everything straight away. Can I help? You again? You're the client. We're the builders. No, not today. Today I feel like I'm a builder too. The YMCA. It's fun to stay. Sorry. <laughs> I know I can't sing. I wouldn't say that. Thank you, Gray. I've got stuff to do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, me too. I think Joe and Simon might need a hand. Not from me. She's gone, by the way, Debbie. Good. You shouldn't have chucked her out like that. Careful, Trevor. I'm willing to accept advice on guttering and repointing, but not on how to handle my clients. Sorry, I forgot my place. Oh, Trevor, please. I'm sorry, I'm saying all the wrong things today. Yeah? Sorry. Oh, we've both apologised. What now? I've been thinking about Lenny's last words. I'm willing to give you another chance. What if I don't want one? You're gagging for it. Is Debbie gone? Yeah. 
I found. Oh, yeah. Who with? Laura. She bad me dinner. This is crazy, Paul. Okay, this is just a bit more important than your little house, don't you think? It's not my house I'm worried about. It's my marriage. It doesn't take two of you to sort out the wallpaper. <sighs> You're not listening to me, Clive. This is not about choosing wallpaper or paint or varnish for the bloody floorboards. It's about me sharing in the responsibility of completing a home I'll be living in with my wife. It means a lot to me. More than your job. Are you asking me to choose between the two? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Thank you, Trevor. You're welcome. I need a drink. Me too. I'm a bit nervous. Why? Not because of me, I hope. Oh. <clears throat> In a way, maybe. You think I'm a heartless bitch, don't you? You're not heartless, no. And you're not a bitch, obviously. <laughs> but I make you nervous. Well, I've seen you shouting at people. I don't always shout at people. I'm a nice person. I'm a very nice person. I'm sure you are. It's just sometimes... I seem to have a remarkable talent for rocking the boat. Don't ask me why. Why? I don't know. I know when I'm going to do something that I shouldn't. But even when I say to myself, don't do it, Laura, I still end up doing it. I'm sorry if I've been tricky with you, though. Don't be silly. I think you're amazing. And Paul, I mean, having to put up with us, living on a building site can't be easy. You should know. That's different for me. It's not my home that has people like me barging in every day. Should be more grateful, I suppose. Imagine the kind of builders we could have had. I'm glad I've got you. Hi, Jack. Working well, tonight. Just making up for lost time. It's just you. Where's Simon? He's out with Emma. Where's Trevor? He's out with your missus. What? Not. 
How was dinner? Nice. Good. You know she's using you. You what? Well, you've heard them fighting in Rehoven. Well, tonight was just another way for Laura to have a go at Paul. Bollocks. She likes us. She couldn't give a toss, Trevor. Trevor, go back to sleep. 